Hey, what's going on everybody? Welcome back to another video. My name is Jake Whip, and today I'm gonna to be showing you guys how to use my brand new photo uh, frame maker. Pretty much what it is, is a super easy macro. It allows you to make awesome looking photo frames in a few seconds. This can be used for making kind of cool slideshows like the one that is being shown right now. And that one, if you guys want it, it is available on my Buy Me A Coffee page or if you guys are supporting me on Patreon. But anyways guys, this tool is free, so let's jump into how to use it. All right, so I'm inside of Fusion now, and as you can see, it's 7 MIDI and 1. And if I view this, uh, it's just this picture of a mountain, okay? It's 1920 by 1280 as a resolution. This can be any resolution that you guys want it to be, and it can also be a video if you guys want. So what you're going to do is go to the folder in which you save the download that you guys get. It's a dot setting file, and just drag this right on in. And now as you can see, we just have this tool here, and it's got a single input. So if we go ahead and drag this in, and then view it, as you can see, it is already creating a nice photo frame effect for us. So what we can do is there's this uh, red line. It might be green, um, depending on if you have it selected or not. But if we click on that, and if we drag this up, as you can see, this will extend um, the frame uh, size, okay? And you guys can also control it over on the side here with the frame width, okay? And then the frame height. And once you guys get the exact uh, height and width that you guys want, you guys can also adjust the border width to make it a, a thin line or a thick line, okay? So we're going to do something like this, and we will just uh, make this a little taller. So there we go. So now you can also adjust the corner radius, although I do not want that on for what I'm making today. Then you guys can also adjust the picture center and then the picture size. So you can control this just by clicking in here and moving around, and also scaling it up uh, using uh, these controls right here, okay? So we can reframe the picture anywhere that we want. We could even animate it uh, just by clicking on the diamonds off to the side here. But I'm just going to frame it up something like that. Next up in here we have drop shadow strength and angle distance and blur. Okay, so if we up the strength, as you can see, that'll become more intense. And if you guys don't want it, just bring that all the way down to zero. And that will take it away for you. But I want a good amount of it, so I'll bring it up. You can also adjust the angle that it is cast at. So I like uh, 45 degrees. Uh, and that's coming down from like the top left. And then I also, uh, you can also adjust the distance. And I would not recommend bringing this out too much because that gives it a weird effect. Uh, but keeping that right around the normal. Okay. So about 0 0.02. And then you can also adjust how much it is blurred. So maybe just like a little bit of that. There we go. Next, we can also adjust the border color using all this right here. Okay, so we can first off change the type from solid, horizontal, vertical, four corner, or gradient. And then you can also adjust the color. So let's say I want it to be red. There we go. I could also make it like a bluish or um, a green that'll match the grass. So let's go ahead and uh, just grab a green that looks pretty good there. Or any of this gray. There we go. So something like that you could do. But then we can also do a four corner gradient or any of the other ones. So let's go ahead and do the four corner. And then just from the top left, we'll just grab one of these colors up in here. Uh, up in the top right, we'll grab one of these colors. And then the bottom left, we'll just grab one of these colors right down here. And then the bottom right, we will also grab one of the colors down there. Just using the eyedropper. And as you can see, that'll give us kind of a cool effect. So now that you guys have adjusted everything, you can go ahead and animate it. So some stuff that I like to do is do it in 3D. So like grab an image plane and connect it up into the image plane, just like that. And now as you can see, we have our uh, photo in 3D. And then you guys can add cameras and pan around it, kind of like what I did in the 3D falling photos uh, that you guys can get down in the link below. All right, so I just completed this little effect here uh, that I made for the photo just to give it kind of a cool look. And if we come back to the edit page, now we can just wait for this red line to turn blue and it will be ready for a completely smooth playback. All right, now that this is ready, I can just hit play. And as you can see, this is a cool little effect. And if you guys would like this, uh, you guys can get it on my Patreon page, as well as the photo frame tool that has all the controls possible. It is the original nodes before I grouped them together into the macro. So if you guys want more control, definitely go check that out. Plus, if you guys support me on Patreon, you get access to a bunch of other stuff, including the falling 3D photos, my motion graphics pack, and a bunch of other cool stuff. Thank you guys for watching this video. If you guys enjoyed, like the video, and also drop a comment down below. If you guys want more more tutorials like this, uh, make sure you guys hit the subscribe button and I'll see you guys next time for another video.